All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching season two of an anime I never thought was going to get a season two. Um, God damn, it is up there with some of the animes, like Classroom of the Elite, for example, um, was I don't know, like 2017 or something, and that obviously came out this season. But Devil is a part timer coming up on 10 years since this anime came out. Um, yeah, uh, maybe there's hope for No Game, No Life, maybe not, but. I'm so happy this is getting a season two. I watched this at the very end of 2015, right when I started watching anime, kind of properly. Um, and I really enjoyed this anime, so I'm really excited to finally see a season two of it. Uh, I don't know if there was a studio change, but if you kind of look at the characters compared to how they looked in season one, there's definitely kind of an art style change, but you can still definitely tell they're the same characters, which is nice. Um, but yeah, from what I remember, it's just I really enjoyed this anime. It was very funny. And the anime, uh, the characters were just really cool. So I'm really looking forward to getting into the, this season. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go right into this season episode right now. Oh, I, I, I think I remember this song actually. They used it in um, season one. I remember Lucifer. I know the blonde guy, but I can't remember which one, which general he was. I like how it's giving me this little recap. I definitely need it. Oh yeah, and I remember in this world she has white hair, but in the human world she has red hair. LCL. LCL, that's who he is. Okay. A lone figure entered the masterless devil's castle. Okay. Is this something we saw in season one, or is this new curtain, like a new person, new content? Oh, and we got the opening. Okay, let's go. I'm just thinking, my main thing with this is, this came out in 2013. I wonder, because humor in anime has changed over the last 10 years, uh, considered what, what is considered like funny and whatnot. So I'm just thinking if the humor will kind of hold up this season. Um, with this kind of new generation of anime, I suppose. It's going to be interesting to see. <laughs> I love it. He looks just like a normal freaking like, anime character. And then uh, he goes into devil mode and it's just like, oh shit. Like, one of my favorite moments from season one was, like, when Lucifer was fucking about and he just pulled up, like, straight to his face. Oh, I still remember the chills I felt. <laughs> Who's this little child character? Where is she coming from this season? <laughs> Lucifer. I'm just gonna call him Lucifer because that's how I know him. I know him as Ash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make some fucking money, you bum. Jungle Amazon. <laughs> Might as well be rhetorical. <laughs> Isn't he a manager at his uh, Whack Donalds or whatever it was called? <laughs> she looks so smug. <laughs> New energy efficient model. Oh, very eco. <laughs> what is this? There's something here? Something invisible or something? And what about you, Lucifer? You gonna make some money? And he's looking at Amazon right now. <laughs> oh, he's going to be the housekeeper now. That's hilarious. McRonald. Yeah, that was it. He got a brand new bike for free. <laughs> nice. Aw. Got the old reflector off the old bike. Has she got hella money or something? Yeah, is it, there must be something like... Lurking, if he knew it was there as well. God. 
Is this the Archangel she was referring to? Looks like James from Pokemon let himself go. Or is this a different guy? Oh, same guy. McDonald's in, like, uh, goddamn anime and shit always makes it look so much nicer than it is in real life. <laughs> He's literally just like a teenager. <laughs> look, everything they say is uh, it's economical. Oh, <laughs> they live, like, right next to each other? That's funny. They all live on the same row. Yeah, there is something watching these guys. Even Lucifer notices it. Sounds like a freaking cockroach or something. What are these freaking words they're saying right now? We're not gonna take a take a look at this thing that's in the closet then. Oh why, what is it? Oh, it's raining. Yeah, it's like a freaking bug or something. What is it? Are you yourself not a weapon, bro? No! Get the clothes in. Yeah, but you've got your bikes. Oh, it's like a cockroach. What the fuck? Oh, it is just a cockroach. I thought it was like something else. Why is it censored? <laughs> yeah, the whole freaking hammer. Oh, she's going to break some shit. A creepy word. <laughs> Taro. What is it? Just an incense thing? Okay. Oh, so you had parents? Cool. Oh, damn. He doesn't even know his parents were. Oh. Who's coming through? What the hell is that? Is it an apple? <laughs> Weird shit just is attracted to him. Oh, is, she, is this not where she lives? She just uh, came to see her friend. <laughs> oh, you pissed her off now. What the? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this girl. What is this apple thing? <laughs> He's covered in fucking dirt. A uni slow. Is that your uni glow? Is that what they're saying? Oh my god, it's the freaking child, isn't it? She's in her own world. That is creepy as fuck. Freaking apple with arms. There's a little baby. Oh, she's wearing a little dress too. That's cute. Who are you related to? Whose child is this? Oh, hi -yo. Bro, she's so cute. Alas Aramus. Bro, she's freaking cute. What? That's you, bro. <laughs> Maybe it's because he touched the apple first. Maybe that's why she thinks that. <laughs> He's such a dumbass. <laughs> Uh, yeah? Huh? Oh my god. It has to be like, because he touched the apple and then she technically swung at her. Well, why didn't you tell me you gave birth to this child? <laughs> Bro, she's freaking cute. Alright, so that was a really cool first episode back to Devil is a Part-Timer Season 2. Um, yeah, that was really nice. I really enjoyed seeing the characters again. Uh, a lot, I think enough was recapped to kind of go over who everybody was. Um, it was obviously, I'll get used to everybody's names again. Alice is so cute. And I can only imagine that the reason she thinks his papa and mama is because literally, like I said, they kind of, they were the ones to touch her first, I suppose, even though technically it was uh, her sword that touched Alice, not her hands. But I don't know. Um, yeah, because obviously they're not actually the real mother and father. I'm not really sure how that happened. She's very sweet, though. Uh, she's going to be a fun little character to have on the show. Um, yeah, it, the whole kind of living in very kind of lower class, uh, free, you know, the devil and two generals and then everybody else, you know, being there as well. 
Um, yeah, I really miss this fun dynamic and I'm really excited to see the rest of this season go on. But yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.